Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you think it would be useful to anybody else or anybody in any groups that you are on in social media. Alright, so what this layout is, you can see I've got a Langstroth sized uh, box and I have a wear, wear, wear size box. You have to excuse my voice and pronunciation. I hate to keep saying this in every video or in a lot of videos, but many people know that I went through cancer treatment and I'm still recovering and my voice just isn't that great. So I'm sorry, I'm still trying to do these videos best I can and pass this information along. But here comes the problem. Let me explain. Let's say that you started with either hive and somehow or another you decided to try the other one. What's going to happen is eventually you're going to run into problems that there are two different size boxes and if you're doing splits between the two you need some way to make it work. And I come up with a simple solution that's nothing more than a piece of plywood that's cut and it's an adapter. It'll work. You can either adapt a Langstroth box to a Wary or a Wary to a Langstroth box. It'll work either way. And I've already got one of these that I used and I'm actually making a second one. Mostly so I can make this video because I never, never recorded a video when I made this first one a couple years ago. Um, the way that I originally did it is the way it is done right now. I took a Langstroth box, the larger one there. I laid it out and I used the factory edge, which is square and straight, as two edges. And then I trace the inside and the outside of it so this is the outside of the box this is the inside of the box then I took the wary box which is considerably smaller and placed it in one so I could get rid of this knot right here it'll be cut out and won't affect it and I traced it out and I measured with a tape measure kind of all the way around to make sure that it was centered and even now when I cut this, I'm only going to cut the inner square. This inner line is the only one that gets cut out. And then the outer edge is the only one that gets cut out. Once I've got that done, I can adapt either box to either system. And that works for things like if you need to do splits or maybe you got some established wear hives and you want to try a Langstroth you can put the adapter plate on top of here set the box on top of it put your frames in let the wary bees draw the combs out on the Langstroth box or vice versa if you're doing splits and your frames don't fit box to box you can also make that work too so I thought it was a pretty slick solution I've never shown it on video because I knew the minute that I did, people are going to ask about it. But this is what I come up with. It works really great. And now I'm passing that information along now that it's a proven technique that works. All right, so a couple of situations and scenarios. Let's say that you've got a wary hive. Pretend like the bars are in there. They run this way. From front to back. And you need to have them draw some comb on a Langstroth hive. You would add your adapter plate to the top of your wary hive, just like so. Then you've got your Langstroth hive and your frames run from front to back also. So then this would sit on this. Now you would have to still use a Langstroth top cover but that would actually work right the bees are able to get up into this hive body or into this uh, box 
where the frames are at, they'd be able to draw the comb out. Or if you were taken and going to use a wary hive to do a split, you would add your brood frames on this plate, and then they would build out the queen and establish the wary hive in the bottom. It could also work the other way. You have an existing Langstroth hive. The frames run front to back. You want to maybe get in and try to do a wary hive. Use your top plate. Then you set this on top. Now you have to put your wary hive top cover on. The bees from the Langstroth can get up here, draw the comb down on your bars. Easy peasy. Um, if you, if your queen rearing hive was a wary hive, this could also work the other way. If you want to establish a Langstroth hive, you would put your box with your brood cells and your queen cells on top just like this once that queen hatches and that brood hatches they would then finish out building into the bottom when they get everything built into the Langstroth hive you basically shake off your frames into the Langstroth hive and then put your Langstroth top on so it'll work either way I think it's a good solution so easy peasy this is what it looks like when it's all cut out And uh, as always, God bless you, God bless your family, God bless your homestead. Thanks for watching.